So the ETH merge is just around the corner. But did you know that you could still acquire Ethereum coins through the process of mining? Stay tuned to find out more. Okay, so Ethereum is going proof of stake. So next week we're going to have Ethereum, which will be proof of stake and you won't be able to mine Ethereum directly anymore. However, with good old unminable, you still can. On my screen here, you can see the unminable Twitter page. Just a kind reminder that ETH will still be mineable on our platform after the merge. Of course, by using our other available algorithms. Nothing will change regarding ETH mining slash pending balance. It will just behave as any of our other supported non-natively mineable coins. Okay, so before we used to mine Ethereum directly, we still can for around another four days or so. So you can still mine it directly on Ethermine. That's what I used to do because obviously it was more profitable and more worth it with my hardware to be able to do so. Obviously, if you had older hardware, you would use Unminable anyway because maybe the algorithm, ETH algorithm, was not supported on your hardware. So basically what I was doing was I was mining it directly on Ethermine because that's what I could do. But in a couple of days, that's not going to be possible for me either. So on the unminable page here, you can see all the coins. If we go to the ET8 section, Ethereum section, um, that's down here. We can see here that please note that the ET hash pool will stop accepting connections very soon as ETH is migrating to proof of stake rough, roughly between September the 10th and September 15th. So that's pretty much we're in that time period right now. Be sure to switch to ETC hash, which is most similar, Cowpal or Auto Lyca. So ETC hash would mean that you would be mining Ethereum Classic, but you would still get paid out in ethereum coins you're still going to have your ethereum wallets available even after the merge i mean nothing's going to change in that respect your wallet's still going to be there your funds are still going to be there the the algorithm is changing and obviously the consensus the type the way you're going to acquire the coins is changing as well but nothing to do with wallets so you're still going to have your wallet you can choose one of the different algorithms here at the top so for example alta locos you need obviously a video card with a minimum of at least three gigabytes of video memory. Same for CalPal and there's ETC hash as well. For CalPal actually you need to have at least six gigabytes. That's going to be actually mining Ravencoin. Now before you start jumping all over me and saying, well, why don't I just mine Ravencoin directly and then exchange to Ethereum? Well, yes, you can do that. But obviously there are going to be gas fees. There are going to be exchange fees involved as well. So even though unminable might not be the most profitable it still is going to give you the easiest way to be able to acquire ethereum coins especially after the merge so you're going to be able to acquire these coins without the hassle of paying gas fees of going to your exchange and exchanging the coins from one coin to the other okay so there are benefits by doing it this way as well and um, if i wanted to keep on acquiring ethereum coins I would be doing it this way after the merge as well. So basically, I just wanted to give you this an update. If you didn't know already, obviously, Unminable is still there. It's always been there. I've got loads of videos on Unminable, so do check those out in the links below. I'm going to leave a couple of links below on how to use Unminable. You can use Unminable through the application. You can even use, like, for example, if you're using your CPU, you can use XM Rig and still connect to the Unminable pools as well, okay? So you can do all of that. Check out my videos below. And just for reference, today we're going to check the Ethereum price and it's currently at 1,708 euros. So we'll be seeing what's going to happen in the next few days. Four days, 18 hours, 21 minutes and 47, 46, 45 until the Ethereum merge. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please do consider subscribing to my channel down below, smash the like button and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.